Hello YouTube, it is Damien. There is no intro. What is new? There isn't an intro, but we're not gonna do any, uh, you know, black screen, then here we are. We're just gonna get straight into it. It is Damien, like I said, and it is my beta save. I couldn't wait for the lower league database to come out, like I said. I was like, I have to play this game. Um, there's a few reasons why we've chosen who we've chosen and why we've done it. Um, the second thing is, is why this is not, uh, you know, an FM19 EPL uh, E-League training video or something like that is because I want to keep that slightly private. Um, we've obviously did a tactics video if you want to go watch that. That's on the YouTube channel as well. Um, it's 40 minutes long about how we will be setting up Liverpool and how we will be playing in that E-League. Um, saying that though, we have a couple of times um, changed tactics around in a database that I'm playing in against the computer. Um, and I've worked about three different tactics out for the eSports League. Um, and I'm quite happy with how that's going. And I'm quite settled upon um, a couple of tactics. I'm not settled upon a starting 11. Um, but that's the beauty of the Liverpool squad. Anyway, this is not Liverpool. This is LA United. And Damien, why have you chosen LA United in the A-League to do your beta save with? A few reasons why. I'm going to go over it in just a second. But the main one is, is I'm from Adelaide, South Australia. I support LA United. I know the boys quite well. well. Not personally quite well, but I know the team quite well. I went to round one last week uh, against Sydney and it drew 1-1. I'm going on Tuesday night for the FF FFA Cup final um, to watch us play Sydney again and hopefully get a result. We just have a habit of not being able to beat Sydney. Sydney are a very good side in the comp and we'll probably see that throughout this save. Um, and I didn't go last night to Newcastle, who is the team we should have beat. We drew 1-1 instead of deciding to play foot champs. I'm 9-2. I'm not going to complain. Um, anyhow, so here we are in charge of LA United. Now, first things first is what did you give yourself in terms of um, qualifications? Now, we saw with on the Liverpool database that I actually gave myself my national C license, which I probably think is a mistake. I really should load that database up again saying I am the best manager that there is, so the players respect me, the players don't really respect me, but we're getting results. Um, but anyhow, there is a main reason why I've gone with the Continental C license. Now, the Continental C license of football manager equates to the pro diploma, which is the highest qualification that you can get in Australia. Now, for people that don't know, is that I actually have, um, what on football manager terms, the national C license. I have um, the Australian equivalent of the C license in real life with my coach, whilst I'm my coach, you know, and my club's actually on here. It's another reason, we'll get to that anyway. Um, um, but I decided that, look, I'm 23, as it is, as it says right here, right now, I am currently 23 years old. Um, at 23, I've actually got a really nice, uh, you know, semi-professional full-time coaching role at White City, which we'll show in a second. Um, it's not out of the world, you know, the realms of possibility that if I really strive to do all my qualifications, I've obviously finished off my C, I've still got a video assessment to do, do my B, do my A, do my pro diploma in Australia, that... It's not out of the realms of possibility that I end up coaching in some capacity in A League. Now, I'm not going to say to you right now that I'm going to go and coach LA United or Perth Glory or someone else down the A League line. Um, it's just not out of the realms of possibility that I do some work for them. I actually think if it's ever going to happen, it'll be as a goalkeeper coach because I do plan to finish my C license and then do my goalkeeper one and two before I do my B license because I really love my goalkeeper coaching. You know, I'm about to go there now um, to do some goalkeeper coaching after this. Um, I do private goalkeeper stuff i love my goalkeeper work um you know i just wish that i was over six foot so i could have still be playing but i you know you, you, it's good to realize at a young age that you're not going to be able to cut it at the top level um anyhow um so this is the reason i give myself a continental c license um and why i've done an a league save is because i think that i could maybe one day get there maybe you just never know in well in, in life Anyhow, it is a club that I support. Now, the next reason that we have chosen LA United is this. Um, if we go to the LA United uh, screen, uh, club screen, and we go to the general, is if we go to the icons, um, I've met Travis Dodd. Travis Dodd is a nice bloke. He's currently at Metro Stars. I'm actually really interested to see what he's like. Um, I highly doubt that he's good enough to play for us with lack of... He's still got 14 pace. There you go. Travis could be interesting. Now, Travis obviously played a lot of games at LA. Um, there we are. He obviously went to Perth Glory. Um, didn't have the best of time at Perth Glory, but... Played a lot at Legend Island, club captain. Um, Cassio, obviously, who I've just mentioned, he employs me. If you can't really tell, um, that's Academy de Football by Cassio. Uh, he employs me. That's my boss. Now, this guy should be a legend. Same with Eugene Galakovic. We'll get to that. And probably Gombea. Um, and probably Travis Todd. Uh, because we, we hold him as, you know, as fans, as on the pedestal of uh, legends right there's a few people that are like oh but Cassio in his later years I'm like yeah but you gotta remember when Cassio came in and what he's done for the club um, Cassio is should probably still be playing at that level you, you, I watch the guy coach every day and he joins in and he runs around and 
You know, the, some of the stuff he does on Liverpool football is out of this world. Um, you know, his free kicks are deadly. I know I've had to face plenty of them in my lifetime. He still, you know, he calls me out. Damien, can I work on this? You know, with my son. His son's uh, 14, and as the A-League club's looking at him, his son's going to be quite a good player as well, Cassio's son. Um, but, you know, he uh, he was unreal for Adelaide United, and it's just a privilege to be in the database where it picks up that Cassio was here. I remember on FM15, I took Cassio. Cassio was apparently somehow employed at Newcastle Jets, even though he never was. Um, the academy started in 2015, and the FM40 went to Newcastle as a head of youth development. I took him up as my assistant. Um, it was pretty fun um, in FM15. Um, Josip Gombauer, for people that uh, don't know, uh, Josip is uh, the manager that took us to our first ever A-League title. We'll get to the history in a second. Um, great manager. This guy should probably have been in charge of the Australian team, not a Graham Arnold, but, you know, oh well. He did spend a stint at Western Sydney. Now, Western Sydney uh, never bought into his uh, philosophy, which is a sad thing. And the last one, the one that's most interesting to me is Eugene Galakovic. Now, best goalkeeper in the league, hands down. Um, you know, he's won the Golden Glove Award numerous times. I've met the guy personally. He's a great guy with great head. Um, you know, I've talked to him a couple of times. He probably doesn't remember me, but I've talked to him a couple of times. I've watched him keep plenty of times. As you can see, he's been at Adelaide United for a long time. Was at our arch, I was Melbourne Victory, but never broke in there. And Melbourne made the mistake of going, well, I don't think you're good enough. You can go to Adelaide. And pff, he's been in and around the Australian squad and pulled off some great saves um, in his lifetime. He's listed by Melbourne City. Now, I went to Melbourne City. Now, Melbourne City in real life, I don't know what it is with this database, but even going through my squad, there's some people that are listed that we've, you know, we've just re-signed and, you know, we're starting every week. Melbourne City used this guy as their main goalkeeper. I don't know why he's listed. But anyhow, I've already started scouting him when I saw that because if I can get him for 10K, I'm getting him for 10K. And Adela the return of a legend will happen. Um, Marcello Karuska is obviously a player that you know we like here, but obviously he left us. He didn't want to sign a new contract, went to Melbourne City, then went to Western with Sydney Wanderers. Um, Karuska is quite a good player. I'm very interested to see where Marcos Flores is because he's probably another one that we should be. He's a free agent. Well, uh, Marcos, off a trial, yes, four weeks. Um, Flores had a very good year, scored goal of the year with LA United on this mazy run where he chipped the keeper. As you can see, he's very good in that second season, by the way. He was absolutely unreal. Um, he then went to Melbourne Victory on a free, which we weren't happy with, but at the same time, it was kind of, he kind of said to us, come get me, and the board said, no, we don't want to pay you so much. And then Melbourne's like, well, we'll pay you. And he went, yes. Um, he, he, you know, we don't like him for going to Melbourne, but at the same time, you know, his best years are here at Adelaide tonight. I, I quite like the player as well. Anyhow, um, we're going to get into the team itself and what we've done as well. Um, if we go back to our inbox, you know, you should see the welcome in, um, welcome Adelaide tonight. Tactics induction. I've already set up a tactic anyhow. Um, we're not going to do a tactics induction. We did that in the last video. That's our signing so far. I don't know how much um, we are. Um, Apparently, this guy's going on loan at Adelaide United's MPL side, the goalkeeper, um, personal assistant regarding Adelaide um, garden transfers and stuff like that. We don't really mind. Um, Tommy Orr is big signing. Yeah, he's going to rip the league apart. How Central Coast have got Tommy Orr? Actually, Central Coast, do they have Mr. Usain Bolt? Do they have Usain Bolt? Do we see Usain Bolt? That's another thing. I didn't even think of that. I don't have Usain Bolt. I don't see Bolt. Bolton, no, no. Usain, no, 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 no. Usain isn't on the game. That would have been funny. That would have been Usain Bolt. I, I would have laughed if Usain was there. Anyhow. Um, we're going to go back here. There's some players that you know Chris obviously went on free. This guy spent time at Lazio. I actually really rate this guy. You know, he used to be able to pick him up at Lazio and he used to grow into a decent player. Um, so a little bit of that. Our history, I was there. We won it against Western Sydney at Adelaide Oval. It was a great time to be alive. Uh, SAS scored an amazing free kick. Now, we finished first in the league a couple of times, but we never went and did that. Um, never went and gone out and said, yep, you know, here we go. There was one time that we got to the final, and I think Melbourne Victory pumped us. I don't think I know Melbourne Victory pumped us. And I remember vividly crying when Ross Aloisi got sent off because I really did rate Ross. Um, and we won the FFA Cup once. We did lose. I'm pretty sure we lost in the final to Sydney last year. That's when uh, Moroni hit a ball kid or the ball kid faked it and whatever. We don't need to discuss that. Um, but we did win it. I was there for when we won it as well. Um, I am going, obviously, on Tuesday to see us play Sydney in the final again. Um, Pre-season Cup, no one does it anymore anyway. Um, that's our squad. Now, we're going to get into the squad as well, but there we go. Um, but another reason why I've done the save, and you may notice we're also in the 10th of September, so we've already done games. I personally think that A-League preseason on Football Manager goes way too long. 
Um, so I've come in, you know, in late preseason. Um, in terms of the FFA Cup, we didn't draw one of the big boys. We didn't draw another A-League club. We drew two amateur clubs. So, you know, what's going to happen is going to happen. You know, we, we won convincingly. We won convincingly again. Um, the thing is, is like Croydon Kings is a club not too far away from me. It's 15 minutes. I went to school with Jared Bazali, for instance. You know, um, I, FM have this wrong. I'm pretty sure he plays at the back. He's a tall lad and plays at the back. Um, I'm not. A, I'm not pretty sure he doesn't play up front. Um, you know, when we were, I played in him in an under nine side that went undefeated for our primary school. You know, we scored something like 98 goals. I can see one goal a year. It was pretty good. Um, he played in the centre of the park. Um, but anyhow, you know, he's there. Um, you know, there's obviously other clubs that you know, Adelaide Comets. I have a mate that plays for Comets, but he's not on the game. You know, Evan Constantopoulos is another coach here at Academy D Football. I'm Casio. I do like Evan as a player. I actually think Evan really. Should have been given more of an opportunity by Adelaide United. Um, he never was, as you can see. He had a couple of years where he got to play and then not really. Um, you know, obviously went over to South China. Evan has um, is a great coach and a great guy. I actually want to bring him in um, myself on the save. Um, you know, Mark Ochang was released by us and he's decent. You know, he he wasn't a bad player um, as well. You know, but I have a guy here called Zach. Zach, if you ever watching this, I would sign you, but you're not there. John Solari I actually went to uni with him. John, good lad. Um, there we are. And there we go. This is the main reason why I'm doing this save as well, is that I know people in and around the save. And like my club is here as well. This is the club I'm coaching at is White City. So we're in the level below, you know, the likes of Comets and that. Um, this is a possibility that we could get promoted. But if you go to players, um, Michael Keynes is the senior coach there. Michael's a very good lad as well. Um, very good per person to, you know, meet and talk to. Um, very good head on his shoulders, understands football very well. Um, he's a veteran midfielder. Um, I think this guy's quite a good player for the level that what City are at and he's you know he's all about youth development which is great you know Steph is Steph um and there we are you know this is the club that I'm at you know I'm state league one this is in real life it's just good to say in real life I'm actually at a club that is on a database if you load up the right database it's pretty cool um unfortunately you can't go to youth squad and see Bruno as the coach and me as the assistant and you know all the lads that are, you know that are in here like Dimi and Co and, and Donnie when we're, we're not on the game but, you know, it's good to say that, we, you know, we're close. We're nearly there um, as well. Um, anyhow, that's a bit more talking about what we've done here. That's 12 minutes of me just garbage. We're now going to get onto the tactic really quickly. Um, as you can see, there's a few holes here um, in, in the team. Um, Paul Izzo is a goalkeeper that, in look, in real life, I don't rate him. I rate him in terms of that he can save the ball decently. He's not Eugene Galakovic, and I think that's the thing. You know, a lot of Adelaide United fans go, yeah, but Izzo's not Galakovic, and it's like, you can't really replace the God best goalkeeper that's gone in the A-League. Um, I just don't think his kicking should be 13 here. You know, when I watched him play against Sydney, the guy couldn't hit a target. So, I do like the guy, right? I think, like, off the field, he's probably a good lad and stuff like that. I just don't think that he's, you know, at this level. Not, I may, you know, maybe I'm being a bit harsh because I'm thinking about Adelaide United. Um, you know, obviously he's an SA boy. Um, he's come through the ranks, you know, he went, went to AIS and so on. Um, so he's got some good coaching. Uh, Michael Moroni, fun story is that Michael Moroni's dad and my uh, auntie and my mum and my mum and my, you know, my mum's twin, they grew up with his dad and prospect lad and, you know, so I know who his old man is. I've met him once, I think, but I never met Michael Moroni. So there you go. But Michael Moroni is someone that I really do like. Um, this is one of the crazy ones, is that apparently Jordan Elsie was transfer listed. The guy's like the vice captain, I'm pretty sure, this year for Liverpool. Uh, for Liverpool, far out, could you imagine? Um, for Adelaide United. Um, and the guy is probably our best centre-back in real life and one of the better centre-backs in the league. Football manager having as a two-star player. I just don't understand that, but I guess it's just, FM probably doesn't know too much about the thing. And I don't think determination one's fair. This guy's had some massive injuries and has come back and always come back better and stronger. You know, that determination should be quite high. Um, I feel pretty poor for Jordan Elsey. Um, Galloway's Galloway. Galloway actually scored in his debut playing at left-back. Scored an absolute long-range curler over the keeper um, in that one-all draw against Sydney. Um, Isai Yis is club captain. Isai Yis is probably going to go down as a club legend by the time we're done. Um, he's also got very good free kicks. He's obviously scored one in the grand final. I think this guy's unreal, and, you know, football manager have it right as one of the better players in the league. Mikko Borland is a player that we've just picked up, the German. Um, according to football manager, he's one of the best players in the A-League. I haven't seen enough of this guy to go, yep, he's sensational, but, you know, from what we've heard and what we've seen so far is that he is, you know, going to be there or thereabouts as one of the better players in the A-League. Um, this is the big problem, is that we need another centre mid. Hence why I've looked at Marcos Flores, is Strand's come in. I don't know who Strand really is in terms of how he plays in the youth team. Um, 
I've just put him in there so you can see the tactic, really. Um, ben O'Halloran played up front in that first game. Didn't really rate his performance, but I think as a winger, he's decent. Thing is, though, I, if I can get Evan in, um, I might play Evan on this right-hand side because I think Evan's decent. Goodwin, Craig Goodwin, obviously went away from Adelaide United, but spent time at Adelaide United, went to Sparta. He's unreal. Um, guy should have won me a bet, too, in that first game. Put a bet on before the game. We scored first goal and missed a one-on-one. Keeper saved it, at least, but... You know, should have made me my money, Craig. Um, Craig's a good lad. Um, he could play fullback very well as an aggressive fullback, but him up the field, one of the better wingers in the A-League. I think he's a pretty good. Um, and up front was Bubba. Now, Bubba frustrates me. Um, now, Bubba's really good and is very good for the A-League level. And look, he'd probably be really good on the game. reason why he frustrates me, he missed round one due to soreness. Now, I'm sorry, it's round one and you're missing it due to soreness. Maybe everyone was thinking that, oh, we'll just make sure he's ready for the cup final. It's round one. Anyhow, I love Bubba. Bubba. Bubba's all right, and I'm pretty sure he's going to get some goals. In terms of the bench, Ryan Kiddo I went to uni with. Um, my mate's actually really good friends with Ryan. I, I'm not so. I changed degrees after being only six weeks in his course. He's a really good footballer. Once again, he said he's transfer listed. We use him off the bench a lot. And he's quite good as a winger. I'm very tempted to start him, but he's more on the left-hand side than he is on the right. I don't want to really play him on the right out of his preferred role. Um, you know, Vince Lee is decent backup as well to Isaias. Um, Stammer. Um, we nickname him Stammer um, because well, I nickname him um, Stammer Apostolis. Um, I coach his younger brother at the academy. He's at the academy, young Stammer. Yeah, um, uh, if you know, if any of the Stammer boys are watching, you know this guy should get a little bit more game time because I think he's quite good up front as well. The 19 year old, he's already on international duty with the under 19s as well. I think this guy's quite good. Daniel Margarusha, I've met this guy numerous times. I think this guy's a great person in general. You know, um, he knows one of the goalkeepers. I keep really um, that I you know I coach at the academy everyone thinks that he has a pretty bright future at the club um i'm not happy where he's gone to this year he said if you're watching this you, you know about it but you know mugurusha and myself have have had zeb on now you know thing and i've talked to daniel about him a few numerous times i think daniel's a good lad um i really like daniel and i think he's arguably a better goalkeeper than paul Izzo. Um, I think full manager have this wrong, and I think full manager have this wrong, because I think he's a very good shot stopper and can kick a ball better than Poizo can. Um, but there we are. Um, look, maybe I'm sliding Poizo too much. I do like the guy, and his penalty stopping, you know, um, is out of this world. He pulls off the big save, so. Anyhow, let's digress. That is the team. Now, in terms of the tactics, is with, I'm playing how I would play in real life. I'm not playing my Liverpool tactic. I'm playing how I would set my team up in real life. Um... And if I was, I'm probably looking for some overlapping as well because I really do like fullbacks getting on and really whipping in balls into the box. Um, you know, I'm playing a very high possession-based tic-tacker system. Um, you know, shorter passing, much lower tempo. I want you to keep the ball, work the spaces, really get SAS on the ball, distributing, you know, you know, get ball and bombing in, into the spaces. Probably want another playmaking midfielder in here as well so we can keep the ball, Marcos Flores. Um, there we go. Um, Playing it a little bit narrower it allows our fullbacks to really bomb on as well, which is great. Um, in transition, obviously we distributed centre backs trying to keep the ball. We, we uh, I've got it on hold shape because of the way I'm playing in real life. Because you can set a team up that I want tick tacker, but maybe you know you tell them that in that first 10, 15 seconds, you know if you got the ball and the ball's there to be played, release it, go. You know let let Goodwin get in behind, play on the counter. Um, instead, I want him to hold the shape, win the ball back, keep the ball. Let's just do it. Um, I want to take shorter goal kicks, please, into the centre-backs, distribute there. Um, then the possession has been lost. Counter-press, I don't mind that as well. That's fine. And out of position, obviously, we're going to be a much higher line, extremely urgent in terms of our pressing intensity and etc. That's how we're going to line Adelaide United up. Now, um, in terms of the actual starting 11, it's Izzo, um, as I've picked right now, Maroney. Um, Jacobson is in there because football manager rates him. I don't mind Jacobson. I actually think he's decent. I think he's actually a better midfielder than he is at the back. I really wouldn't mind him as a midfielder. Um, LC we've been part of, Galloway we've seen, Issa yes we've seen, Bolin we've seen, Strain we know he's not gonna be there, Halloran, Goodwin, Bubba, and there we go. I think that's gonna be pretty much the team talked about and done. So this is why we've chosen that Leisure United now. In terms of when I'm gonna come back, I'm actually gonna come back for this FFFA Cup game against Sydney, because Sydney are on-zone on favorites to win the league and the cup, and you can see why when you look at their squad and go, wow, well, you got Josh Barante, who for A-League that was decent. Sisak is apparently listed, even though he really shouldn't be listed. Brosk, I don't like Brosk at all. I think he's a little bit of a muppet, but he's a really good player. Alex Wilkinson's obviously a very good player for the league. You know, they just got, you know, Nikovic, 
They have a squad that is quite good, the Sydney. And there we are. But we'll be back for the Sydney game after we played Nolunga and Raiders, who I did coach at last year, not in the Sydney capacity, but as a junior capacity. And we'll see how we'll get on as well in that FFA Cup game. You know, and then we've obviously got Sydney FC coming up um, at home as well. Um, we won't do a double header. We'll just do the Sydney game just by itself, and then we'll get into the um, Sydney game <laughs> at home as well. We we'll probably will do a double upload Sydney and Newcastle. Depends. If I make the FFA Cup final, it'll be in here uh, before the Central Coast game and after Newcastle Jets. You might just do Newcastle Jets and um, and the uh, Cup final if we get there as well. In there as well. Um, it depends who we draw. If we draw, like for instance, Melbourne Victory in the semi final, we'll do that too. But it depends who we draw as well. Um, but anyhow, in terms of what I'm going to do with this save, is this is that it's going to be one you season, maybe two. Depends when a lower league database comes out. Um, pretty much as soon as a lower league database comes out, this is going to go to the wayside. Um, unless we haven't completed one season yet. If it hasn't completed one season, we are going to finish off the season, see how we go. Um, I am going to do this as an opportunity to stream. Um, stream this save, but you will see regular um, YouTube episodes as well. It's kind of going to be a mixture of both. It's not going to be like the lower league database where it's going to be pretty much I'm making this a YouTube save, but you will see the occasional stream of it when the FM19 e, uh, Premier League is once it starts, it's stream. That's it. It's just a stream. So it's just a stream competition. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Anyhow, that is Damien Dunn. Taylor Regans has a really high match rating maybe we should be playing taylor regan a little bit i do rate taylor regan anyhow that is damien done for this um episode episode one of the um of the beta save of la united i don't know what to call it i might call it the rise of aufc but you know we're pretty good um i might call it the uh i might just call it beta save i don't know we'll figure out a name for it anyway i haven't got that far ahead i just wanted to really record this video before i went to coaching as well because uh we've Foot champs and everything on i don't know when i was going to go do this and i really want in my time off where i'm not playing foot champs and i'm not doing my uh, liverpool uh training and stuff like that to play a save that i can produce content for for you guys because i don't really play uh foot manager without putting it on youtube or twitch anyhow that's damien dunn thank you for watching this episode episode one of the aufc the rise of aufc that's what we're going to call it screw it um, and there we go from Damien signing off as always links in the description below to the Twitch So you know when we're going live um, obviously for more of LA United or the FM 19 Premier League by two game um, We do have West Ham coming up shortly in November um, to start the uh, campaign off There's obviously links to my Twitter and Facebook so you know when episodes are going live and stuff Enjoy the rest of your day or night and from Damien and Adelaide United. Thank you and goodbye